ready 5 seconds mr chairman i wish to support this bill not because this is really a measure which will improve the conditions under which these institutions have come into existence in our country but because i feel even a small thing like this which will regulate the running of these homes might do some temporary good if we examine the reasons why these homes have come into existence we will find that it is really a reflection on the social backwardness because women are not educated because women do not have the right to own property naturally they are deserted neglected and are driven to the necessity of going into these homes run by the men in our society these people run these homes under the guise of public charity but these homes have really become centers of immoral traffic in our cities these institutions are not only not run by the state as they should be but they are run by religious and semi religious bodies by the so called public spirited men in our country and as has been pointed out just now it is stated in the report of the committee appointed by the ministry of welfare that they are even being financed by state funds and grants made by the ministry of welfare are used by such institutions for unethical purposes i do not know how we will be able to control them by passing a bill like this which will give them some kind of supervision by the state sir i was personally connected with an institution in uttar pradesh and it was an institution which was run under the name of mahila ashram and the entire committee in control of that mahila ashram consisted of some of the lawyers and doctors of the capital of uttar pradesh the means by which they secured the finance to run this institution will prove on what basis this institution is running for every month that an inmate spends in that home the prospective husband will have to pay at the rate of so many rupees per month the only idea of this institution is to get the inmates married and once they are married they do not keep a record of the marriage they do not keep any record of what happens to the inmates after marriage everybody knows that they are taken to other provinces by the operating gangs sir one of the institutions quoted in that report is worth mentioning here the committee went to gaya in bihar and they found that these women were practically locked up as if they were prisoners in that house and then they were asked as to how many of them would like to stay there 12 out of the 16 ran out of the house this is typical not of a few but of the majority of the houses run under the name of women's homes or under the grand name of mahila ashrams <clears throat> only the other day in the times of india we read about a children's home run in delhi with the financial aid of the ministry of welfare stop